John 16 7-15 who can replace Jesus Christ. Yet I tell you the truth, that it is expedient for you that I go. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But when I go, I will send him to you. And when he cometh, he will convince the world of sin, and of righteousness and of judgment. From sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more. And of the judgment, because the prince of this world is judged already. I still have much to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when that spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of himself, but will speak all that he has heard, and he will tell you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will receive of what is mine, and he will tell it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I have told you that you will receive what is mine and will tell you. John 16 7-15 Dear brothers, we are happy to be in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, and in the presence of the Holy Spirit, and in the presence of the Lord Jesus. We have used this reasoning in all our publications, and until then, we have not had the opportunity to explain why we begin any spiritual activity. We make references to the Creator of heaven and earth, to the Holy Spirit, to the Son of God. That is the Holy Trinity who directs, organizes, guides, plans. All the gospel work we are doing. So much is real and true that we do not prepare messages to pass on to you. But at the hour when we will begin the activity of teaching all, and publishing these teachings, it is the Holy Spirit who is oriented. And we could not leave today to explain to you how this wonderful plan for the conduct of the gospel works. And the implementation of guidelines that are totally relevant, and of total interest to those who desire salvation. The gospel is given by the Holy Spirit, and he comes in the form of a call. That is why it is written if you listen to my voice today do not address your hearts. Such a call that the Holy Spirit does, through the Gospel, is accepted only by those who desire and value eternal life. And the Kingdom of God. Because Because the Kingdom of God is compared as a treasure Jesus Christ made a paragraph that a man discovered a great treasure on the ground, then he was, and sold all that he had to acquire that land. And he could use of the treasure that that land owned. In today's publication, Jesus Christ is saying that he was terminating his mission here on earth, and needed to go to heaven, and stay to the right of the Father. But he was very worried about solving the problem of his absence here on earth. And he feared that the disciples did. But he was very worried about solving the problem of his absence here on earth. And he feared that the disciples did not understand this change of character, for Jesus Christ was leaving for heaven. And said, when I am going to you, I will send the Consolator, the Holy Spirit, and will be with you, substituting me with a difference. He will be part of the body of all that allows the Holy Spirit more within. When the Holy Spirit comes, he will have some functions, convinced the world of sin, convinced the world of justice, and covers the world of judgment. Convinced the world of sin. Because they do not believe in Jesus Christ. This is considered the greatest sin. Do not believe in Jesus Christ. The world of justice will convince. Of justice of Christ. Because only Jesus Christ is fair. And he who does justify us. The judgment, why? For the prince of this world is already judged with the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was about, is judged and condemned for all eternity. In verse 13, he begins by saying of the function of the Holy Spirit. He will guide you in the whole truth because there is no injury and no lie. Because he will not talk about himself, but he will direct all that he has heard from me. He will announce you all what will happen, man of God receives revelations of the Holy Spirit about everything that is happening and everything that will happen. He will glorify me because he will receive what is mine, and will announce you. Dear brothers, for us at www.libertasplomemordecristo.com.br it is of the utmost importance to be guided, directed and guided by the Holy Spirit. And listen to what he has to say, in full, because the word of God says that God will not do anything before announced to his servants, the prophets. That is why we entrust our work of preaching the gospel entirely to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God.